Guess what everyone? It's Halloween. So let's tell a really corny joke. Hello. Hello. Do you know what today is? Pancake day. It, it's not Shrove Tuesday, no. Uh, anyone? Christmas day. No, nope. anyone? Sorry? Friday. No, it's bloody Halloween. Oh. It's, oh, come on. <laughs> anyway, what do you call two witches sharing a room? Monica and Rihanna. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Broom mates. Why? Why did the headless horseman? Horseman. <laughs> headless horse. Why did the headless horseman get the job? Uh, because he was trying to get a head. <laughs> oh, forget it. Anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. Bye. <laughs> We've just got this sixteen plate Mark Five Mondeo in the door. It's lost its brakes. Now I know I've been doing videos on Mark V Mondeos for quite some years now. This is a new one. I would have expected a brake caliper, probably a rear one if anything, to be leaking. But no, I, I, I actually know what's wrong. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, Tyler, can you tell us what the mileage on this car is? The mileage? Three hundred thirty-three thousand. Okay, that's enough. Three hundred and thirty-three thousand. So I guess you could say it's done well. But let's have a look at this brake fluid leak. I can see it's on the driver's front. There is brake fluid all over the wheel, bottom arm. And I thought initially when I looked under the car, it's probably the caliper. But no, the caliper is nice and dry. But up here, you see the brake hose just up there this one here that is the problem if you can put your foot on the brake very gently go a bit more there you go there you go look at that absolutely pissing out right let go of the brake pedal now put your foot on the brake again <laughs> look at that it's absolutely chucking it out I have to say, in all my years, I have seen brake hoses leak before, but this bastard has got a flipping, like a, a two inch split in it. It is literally split. <laughs> now my assistant is going to remove the brake pipe, hose should I say. Off you go, there's the spanner. Do your thing. That 13 mil, will it undo? Yes, it will. Because mm, normally they could be a problem and you have to put some like oh. pliers on the bracket there to hold the bracket from bending. You see that brake pipe is starting to leak when you're undoing it. I'm going to get you a little union that we're going to screw into the end of that brake pipe so it doesn't keep dripping on the floor. So as soon as that's undone, we'll get it plugged. So as I just say, to stop that union from dripping brake fluid onto the floor, I get another union, the opposite end. This is a female union. I put a bit of brake fluid in it with a flared end and I squash the end of the brake pipe in the vise so it can't leak. And I'll now screw that onto that. And there you go, no more dripping. There, we're off. Now that pipe should come out. Yep, and that should come away. Yep, sit. So there's our brake hose. The hose is held to the brake caliper with what's called a banjo bolt. And there will be a copper washer just there on one side of the flange where the bolt goes through. And there'll be another copper washer on the other side, which is actually still stuck to the back of the caliper. So we'll have to remove that. Because I've no doubt when we get our, news, our new hose, it will come with new copper washers. But anyway, Let's get to the, the main point. Funny, you know, this is actually October the 31st. It's Halloween, but there you go. That is completely split there. I have actually not seen that on a brake hose in more years than I can count. So that's pretty much a first for me. Yeah, pretty nasty, yeah? And as, as Mark V Mondeos go, I've never ever had 
a, any kind of problem with any of the brake hoses or brake pipes. So, yeah, not good. But there again, when you look at the mileage on this car, well over 300,000 miles, you can kind of understand that these things can happen. At some point, there must have been a little bit of a flaw in here. Something worked, was a little bit broken, and it's just got worse to the point where it's just split it. Right, I shall wait for our new hose to come, and then we'll fit it back on. Just because it's Halloween, and not just the fact that that brake hose has given up the ghost, I've got a few more horrors to show you. On this two poster ramp, we have got a 59 plate Nissan Murano, or if you've ever seen the film Kingpin, it's a real Munson. So let me show you what's wrong with it. The differential is out and all the back subframe has been removed. And guess what? Look at that brand spanking new subframe. That's come all the way from Japan because we were unable to locate one here in England. Yeah. And what's wrong with it? Well, it wasn't obvious straight away. Where the subframe bolts up to the body, look at that. That is completely rotted through. When that's actually in the car, it's very hard to see that but the guy was getting a knocking noise from the back. So upon investigation, we found that this was actually flexing. So <laughs> it's pretty bad, I must say. Let me come around here a bit. Look at that. That's really rotted out. We have, we have chipped it away a bit, to <laughs> see if, you, if you know what I mean. We've made it worse than what it originally was, but that subframe's completely rotten. So when I sort of like go underneath these cars and we're looking around, it's hard to sometimes see these things. That's why you've really got to pay particular attention and be very careful and work your way around these metal frames nice and slowly because you can miss stuff like this. But anyway, we are in the process of removing all the nuts and bolts, which we've only got one nut and bolt, which is here, which is being a bit of a pain. Surprisingly enough, all the other nuts and bolts have actually come out, <coughs> which is a bit of a small miracle, I must say. But it is quite a job. It's quite a big job to change all this. So uh, we shall crack on. And the only other things we've got going on, which you probably know, we have a Mercedes C-Class gearbox there to go in when I ever get, seem to get round to it. And I've just replaced a gearbox in a Volvo V40, a 15 plate. This particular gearbox here was crunching in third and fourth gear. In fact, you couldn't even put it in third or fourth gear. It would just scream like hell and jump the gear lever straight back out. So I had to replace the gearbox. I didn't fancy taking this box apart. So I've never had one of these apart. So it's just quicker, a lot quicker just to get a second hand box at the right price and, and bang it in. So that's it. Anyway, as soon as this brake hose arrives, I shall fit a new one. We'll put it on the car. Notice how the Steve's taxi sign is no longer there. It is now a Panther. The company has been sold off. We are still repairing their cars. Finally, our brake hose has arrived. There we go. And actually, funnily enough, it doesn't come with any new washers. I'm surprised. I would have thought it would have come with new copper washers. But there aren't none of them. So I'm going to have to use the old ones. I was going to say, if it did have new washers, to inspect them very carefully, the actual surfaces, because I've had brand new copper washers before that have had a little ridge in them and they've caused leaks. So these are the old ones, which I'm gonna to have to reuse, but I'm gonna make sure they're in very clean before I put them back on. The end of this brake hose that goes onto the pipe, you see it's got a little flat in it there that means when it goes through that bracket there, it will only fit in one position. Whenever you fit the brake pipe into a new union, be very, very careful when you start screwing it in. It's very easy to get brake pipes cross-threaded. 
So just take extra care. This one's gone in nicely. As we have brake fluid all over the place, brake cleaner is very good at cleaning it up. So I'll give that a good spray. And also all over the subframe, the drive shaft boot and everywhere else, there is brake fluid. I'm gonna give it a good dousing in brake cleaner. Top the old brake fluid up. All I need here to bleed the brake is a pipe going from our bleed nipple on our driver's front caliper into a bottle half filled with brake fluid so the air can't be sucked back. So I'll see if this bleed nipple loosens. Yep. That's it. And now what I'm going to do is pump the foot brake pedal a few times and see if we can get the fluid flowing. So I know our pipe is now completely full of brake fluid and there's no more air. So I can pull that off our bleed nipple and that will be literally dripping out. So now I'll just crack off the, well, tighten up our bleed nipple. Okay, Ty, if you can pump the foot brake a few times, then hold really tight pressure on the pedal as much as you can press that pedal down. So what Tyler's basically doing is trying to hold the brake pedal down as much as he can to put as much pressure on the braking system, the hydraulic system. So if there's any leaks, hopefully we'll see it. So that's what you have to do. I will run the engine as well and check for leaks once again, because sometimes you'll only get a leak when the actual engine's running. You get, you get because of the servo assistance, you'll get increased braking pressure. I have now ran the engine and applied my foot on the brake as hard as I possibly can a number of times and held pressure to see if there's any leaks whatsoever. You never know. Everything seems to be hunky-dory. Last but not least, let's make sure the brake fluid is once again topped up to the maximum mark. Don't forget to put the cap on. Well, I can honestly say I have not seen a brake hose that bad in a flipping long time. So, happy Halloween everybody. See you all in the next one.